And this is an epidemic that I think a lot of people are exposed to and have, but not having adequate treatment for it. The Lyme disease is a blood-borne bacterial infection, typically transmitted through tick bites, and those ticks are prevalent in Ontario and Manitoba, all across Canada and the United States. So you probably find us out pretty well every weekend in the wilderness in Northern Ontario, out riding on our ATVs, and doing filming for our Cubby ZX ATV adventure show. Now, of course, life is a lot different for us. And so as some of you guys know, Cubby's been sick now for, geez, almost about three years coming up, I think. We took matters into our own hands and the more we heard people talk, we just figured that it was a really good chance it had to be Lyme, because what else could it be? And about a month ago, the results came back. Definitively 100% Cubby has Lyme along with some bacterial and viral co-infections. You know, the disease has caused some neurological issues and, you know, that's why I'm here today telling the story as he's unable to. Been in and out of the doctors more times than I wish to be. <laughs> Poked and prodded and looked around long enough, they found something wrong with me. Well, they didn't have to look hard for that, but I mean... <laughs> so we've been waiting for the last week, they sent the results to a specialist to look at and then I guess uh, find out what's going to happen from there if it's, I don't know, don't know. Over the past few years, Bob was able to live with it, but we noticed last fall and definitely this spring, the symptoms were getting worse, a lot more neurological and muscular and painful. We tried to find a Lyme literate doctor, but where we live, that's a challenge. There was none nearby. Eventually, we found a naturopath doctor in Winnipeg that uh, treated mainly Lyme patients. So we took it upon ourselves to go meet with him, and then we paid ourselves to have lab testing done at a lab in Europe that was known to be um, very sensitive to Lyme. To our knowledge in Canada, there are no guidelines for medical practitioners around treating chronic Lyme. Somebody that's had it a long time is so different than somebody who might have just got bit yesterday. There's some backlash that colleagues are facing and medical doctors are facing in terms of uh, admitting to the fact that Lyme may actually be a chronic infection. So when you have your top doctors in infectious disease arguing of whether or not an, uh, an actual disease exists, um, then you've got a problem, right? Because then that's where the, the doctors are arguing and then nobody wants to stick their, line, their head out on, on the line and say, hey, I think my patient has chronic Lyme. When, when their supervisor or someone they taught them says that, you know what, we don't think that exists. You know, we're finding that as each day goes by, we're hoping we'll see some positive improvement. You know, as far as even taking the dog for a short walk, you know, that's just not even possible today. Getting up off the couch and spending a bit of time outdoors, we do our best, but it's definitely not easy. Um, and it's going to be, he's got a long road ahead of him, that's for sure. So trying to be very patient and, you know, working through this together. But it's been both emotionally and, and financially difficult, that's for sure. So I'm hoping if somebody hears this story, they may recognize that they might have Lyme too, or think they might. And so going to a doctor to get a proper diagnosis would stop them from having maybe the struggles that we've seen with Bob. We take each day at a time. We don't plan too far ahead. It's definitely ups and downs. We're hopeful that one day we can get back to doing our normal daily life stuff. You know, it's something that does keep us going and when we have dark days, it's something that's very positive that we look forward to.